how did you get into professional soccer and how did your how long did your career last? After I finished playing youth soccer, I got a scholarship to the U.S. at a school, a small school in South Carolina called Winthrop University. And I played there for two seasons. And while I was playing there, the coach of the under-20 Canadian men's national team called me and asked me to uh, go to the under-20 World Cup with Canada in Malaysia, uh, just based on my performances at school. And from that point, I got recognized by a local professional team here. They, they were called the Toronto Lynx at the time. Um, and uh, I left school at, uh, after my second year of school and started a uh, professional career. And I played uh, 12 years later. I uh, had to retire. Was being a soccer player your dream job? Yeah, absolutely. It's the uh, best job in the world. Um, you know, the lifestyle is amazing, you get to travel, meet new people, uh, play in front of big crowds, um, and, and compete. That's the best part of, of playing. And also the, the camaraderie with the, the players that you meet. And the dressing room is a sanctimonious place, as they say, and uh, it's true. Because, uh, you know, the things that, that go on there and uh, the bonds that you make with people uh, are amazing. What was your biggest accomplishment in your soccer career? Um, I think for me was was playing for the uh, Canadian men's senior national team. Uh, growing up, I was never looked at as a top, top player. I just persevered and, and kept playing. For me, it was fun to challenge myself and see how far I, I could I could get even when I was 15, 16, 17 years old. There's no way that any coach I worked with or even players I played with projected me to be a, a professional player or even make it on the, the senior men's national team. Even when I, I played on Canada's Olympic team, um, you know, the under 23 squad, that coach there said, mm, you know, your chances of probably making it to the senior men's national team are slim to none. Uh, but I kept playing, kept working. Uh, I was maybe sort of a late bloomer. And I think, uh, you know, once I got to 18, 19, 20, I kind of figured out what I was good at. Um, and I played to those strengths um, and eventually got called into the senior men's national team at 23, 24 years old. So for me, and I played seven, eight games with them, it was a huge accomplishment. Why did you leave soccer? Uh, around 30 years old, I was, uh, my stuff, my body essentially just started breaking down. I'd pick up little injuries. I've had four surgeries just to keep my career going. Uh, and not little surgeries. They, one of them was, was a major, major surgery, adductor ten, tenotomy. Essentially my adductor here was cut off and then regrew back. Um, so that, that kept me out of soccer for, for six months. I did it while I was in Norway. Um, and uh, yeah, at 32 years old, uh, I decided, you know, I had a family, growing family, and uh, it was time to, uh, it was time to uh, start a new chapter of my life. I was never a guy that soccer was the be all and end all. It wasn't going to define me. Why did you become a gym teacher? Uh, I think, uh, you know, and I had a, a pretty influential teacher when I was, uh, in high school he was a phys ed teacher and he was a big influence just on how he treated people his personality we're still friends to this day we put we play golf once a year together um yeah so that that was an influence plus i love sports uh, i grew up playing everything not just soccer so i think that i had the ability that i could be you know decent at it and and pass along my sort of knowledge and skill set to, uh, to students. And are you still involved in soccer today? Yeah, absolutely. I'm the uh, boys technical director at Woodbridge Soccer Club, which is one of the bigger, bigger clubs in the uh, GTA uh, region. Uh, yeah, and so I coach a couple teams. Uh, I work with our younger groups. I manage the entire program. So yeah, I am still involved in the game. And I still play on Fridays. It's, it's becoming more and more like walking soccer uh, with just a bunch of guys over 40s 
it's not even a league. We just get together and uh, have a bit of fun on Fridays. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome.